Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Chat. I am here with Olga, Lady Supreme, the one of the best of the best in the Bronx. Thank you. Amazing artist. Olga, welcome to the show. Thank How you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you I'm, so much. I appreciate you being here. This is great. Um, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. So usually we start off the show like this. Okay. We want superhero origins. Superhero. Like, Patrick. yeah, yeah. So humble beginnings. How did you start off? Let the people know what you're about a okay. little, you know, just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Olga. I'm a Bronx native mm -hmm. through and through. I've been in Bronx forever. I'm actually a graduate from art and design. Wow. Whoa. In the 80. Nice. Uh, with infamous Carlos Mayer, Lady Pink, uh, Fable. Uh, you you know, era. we got to act like these people don't know who the hell any of these people are. Because, like, Google. Google. <laughs> you got Google. Stop. You got Google. Yeah. We didn't have but, Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the, the thing is, is, like, um, so you're one of the premier graffiti writers right now in the Bronx. Okay. Would you Would you say that? Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Like, there you go. I'll give you your flowers. Thank so, you. So, okay. So you started at... Um, Art and design? Art and design okay. as an illustrator. Nice. And I graduated from art and design. Uh, immediately I went to FIT. Mm. I graduated from FIT and I was an actual fashion designer for 15 years. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Can you, can, if, would you slow like to down? give, no, 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 oh, no. Okay. You don't gotta slow down nothing. Oh. We're talking, we're okay. enjoying this. Would you like to drop some of the names that you, people have worked for? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I actually worked for J. Crew. I did their women's line. Nice. I worked for Lord and Taylor's. I did the Mrs. line. Mm. I did mostly Men and Boys, Bugle Boy, Cotler, Ocean Pacific. 15 years is a long time, so I can't remember all the labels. No problem. Um, wow. Vault. Yeah. I actually did their logo. But mm. I was bonded, so I couldn't take credit for the logo. Oh, but it's okay. Well, it's okay. We'll we'll take credit um, now. <laughs> but it was wonderful learning experience because I was, you know, I was, I was only in my twenties. Oh, awesome. So, so since you've been in the industry and you took a break, like I, I know you told me a fifteen-year hiatus. What 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 happened there? Uh, do you want to talk about it? Sure. Or, yeah. So well, um, at 25, I had my youngest daughter and mm -hmm. I was freelancing from home. I stopped working in the office. I worked at the Empire State Building mm -hmm. um, for, for uh, Nanel Imports. We would mm -hmm. actually import cotton from Cairo and Turkey was leather and you know. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to be a stay at home mom, but I also yeah. still wanted to work. So yeah. I freelanced for another five years from home. Mm -hmm. And then living in the Bronx, you know, this is an epic for asthma. Mm, uh, okay. I needed benefits. So I decided to work for the city for nice. the benefits. But then I fell in love with working for the Department of Homeless mm, because okay. it's, it's giving back. Yes, yes. That, and that's one of the main things about this show right here. We definitely want to highlight all the talent here in the Bronx and also W w how can we help out the community? So I have a few questions to ask. Absolutely. But what made you come back now? What was the return? What was that that little like? You know, sometimes you get that. Uh, I call right. it the aha moment where you're like, I got it. I gotta get back into this race. What was that for you? I was working nights. Mm -hmm. uh, I started working days mm -hmm. and and no overtime, mm -hmm. and I had nothing to do. Mm. And then I thought to myself, I'm close to retirement full circle I actually when I uh, retire and get a pension I could actually become an artist and not worry about paying bills so I started going to galleries and reintroducing myself and then seeing all my old friends and they were like where have you been and you never lose your skill set so I started painting again and I fell in love again nice and here I am nice that's beautiful yeah man that's a great arc like to just like kind of pick back up from where you left. Where I, left. I, I, I mean like um, I took a bit of a hiatus as well we were talking about it a little mm -hmm. bit before the show started and it was just a grind like all that skill that you had you just like okay I gotta it's like riding a bike though yeah 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 you, but you bust your ass a lot though and you got like when you remember when you was a kid you used to bust your ass yeah, riding the true. bike absolutely and, and then when you get back on you like as an adult it's a different feeling you're like okay, I used to be able to do stuff but, right. yeah. but you're doing a great job thank you you're doing very well 
Um, you actually have a couple of shows coming up. We're going to talk about that at the end to let some people know. Okay. Even if this comes out a little later, no problem. They, they can still recognize that you're out there and go check you out. Um, so one of my questions is, um, for you see a lot of the young artists coming up, right? What would be your advice proceeding into the future right now? What is something would, that you would say to some of these young artists out there? Well, number one, draw every day. Mm-hmm practice yeah um some people don't practice and then think they're like the best artists and we can tell that you haven't been practicing so i have a journal which is drawings mm -hmm. and i don't write in it sometimes i do mm -hmm. so i draw every day five minutes an hour it doesn't mm -hmm. matter mm -hmm. and i have tons of books and it represents my moods and yeah. what I dealt with that day. It, mm -hmm. It's gotten so good that certain friends know what I'm going through. And when mm -hmm. I post, you know, because mm -hmm. now everything's social media, I post something, I'll get a call or a text. You good, sis? Mm. Because yeah. that's my therapy. Right, right. <laughs> and, I, and I agree with you there. Like um, when I was um, doing like Saturday, um, Saturday classes at Cooper Union, they made sure to give us a book. Absolutely. And, and it was like, Fill this up when you're on the train. Absolutely. Draw on the train. Draw wherever you want. If you feel like this is also your journal too. So it, if you got your thoughts, put it in thoughts. there. Thoughts. And the craziest thing is like this is maybe about um, I would say maybe seven years ago. I ran into these group of kids and they were all in art school. Oh wow. And we we just met and we started talking and they were like, yeah, we're in art school. We're a group. We're traveling in Times Square. We're just seeing everything. And I was like, oh, here you go. And I pulled out my art book and I gave it, it to them, right? And they were like, and I was like, so where's yours? And they're like, what? Exactly. I don't, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have one. We all draw digitally. And I was like, you guys want to like right. beat your comp, well, not beat the competition, but you want to be ahead of everybody else out there? Um, go and buy yourself an art book tomorrow. And I bet you, you'll beat most of your, right. your, your classmates right. or, or do very well at yourself. But even, okay. you can still learn from these young kids mm -hmm. because the Bronxer actually gave me a tablet. Yeah. And I carry a black book. Wherever yeah. I go, markers, as you can yeah, tell, yeah, I carry yeah. it. Um, and it's a good skill set. I, if you give me a black book, you see how quickly I draw. Mm -hmm. It's just practice. But, huh. Um, Will Powers, I yeah. love who you Will Powers, nice. um, and the Bronxer yeah. gave me a tablet and that's their black book nowadays. And that's fine. You don't have to stay stuck in our era. You guys are doing um, the Apple I mean, tablet. I get where you're coming from. I think the balance is both. Because, Absolutely. Because Absolutely. The, uh, the beautiful thing is, is like, I love doing drawing digitally. Like I, I get up in the morning, I could just turn on my phone or my, my computer and I could sketch something out. But there's something about paper. Absolutely, I agree. I, and I think that the thing is, is like um, with the tablet, it's more of, oh, I know I can fix this shit. Well, with pay to pay is the commitment. And not, not only the commitment, you gotta be okay with what you put on what it What you too. put on. And I see a lot of young people not okay with that. I, but also yeah. don't get stuck yeah. in, in, in your comfort zone. You know, in my comfort zone, because I'm at that age, mm -hmm. Everything is, is, is pencil, it's sketching, mm. but that foundation is so strong mm. that you can translate it into digital. Yeah. Um, because everyone is walking around with a tablet now, and I couldn't do the same thing I did in a black book. I could do it in your tablet in the same amount of time. Yeah, but again, you have fundamentals. And Absolutely. I, I, I think, and I that's think, what we agreed yeah, on. Right. Everyone needs the fundamentals. fundamentals. Yeah, Absolutely. Right, you right. can't skip a step. <laughs> <laughs> fame, the, the get in there. The end result is more important than getting mm. through the steps. But you know, fame is just like a fad. It'll come and go. But they don't look at it like that. They, that's not what's being marketed nowadays. Um, I hear you. Fame is what's being marketed. It's not like the longevity of it. Like, um, I was listening to somebody on a podcast yesterday talking about falling off. Mm -hmm. How for a lot well, of canceled. fame... canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of famous people are like, well, you fell off. They didn't fall off. They're just doing something that you're not paying attention to anymore. Right. Cause I was just like, the other day I was like seeing a rapper, what is his name, Waka Flocka, he's a farmer now. He on day farming, he ain't rapping no yeah. more. He made his money and he's doing what you want to do. Right. And the same thing I think is with art artistry. There's some artists that are there, 
they've done the galleries, they've done all this, they got the pictures in the books, they've been in every magazine. And you know what they do? They have a select group of people that buy from them. Absolutely. And there's a group, few magazines that hit them up and they do a gallery once in a while and you're gonna hear from them ever right. again. And they're happy. Yeah. But um, we're in the era of, I need to be known. And that's it. That's the social media era yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. yeah, and true. that's okay too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing... okay too. Yeah. I market myself in social media. Yeah. I, I, I didn't push back because I'm older. Social media has been really good to me. I've sold a lot. It's, so it's amazing to me as well. If you do it for the right reasons. Right. I've had, I have associates that are like marketing majors and, and they've explained how to do certain things. And that helps a lot. But I also have artists that are like around my age and they're so anti like posting stuff. Oh, I don't want to. Well, I've had associates get things stolen from them. Nice. And that also deters a lot of people from like right. posting up their stuff. Cause like. I've had that. Oh, we've all had it. <laughs> don't, it like. We've all. Once you put up that. something. Like I just you saw. You can't retract it. Yeah, I saw somebody post up a drawing the other day and then in, on Facebook, somebody had a tracing. And it was a bad trace. It was a really bad trace. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know what to name this hero. Can anyone help me? And the guy is like, you just traced over my character. Right, right. Like, what is this? Right. But it's, it's also, um, they say imitation is flattery. And okay. uh, what is it? Great artist copy, great, um, great artist steal or something right, like yeah. that. So, I mean. Yeah, it, until you make money out of my stuff, then it's a problem. Right. Right, and they don't get that. And I think that's the other thing about um, where we're at also with social media is now like, they, like I remember I was on the train the other day and this girl just takes a picture and starts posting it. I was like, you didn't even like ask, you didn't even say like you posted it, right. what's your Instagram? You right. guys post right. that right. I'm drawing on the train. This right. is weird. Yeah. So there's no more that like, communication and respect Absolutely. as, as uh, artists or creatives right. anymore. I mean, I get inspired by certain photographs or certain artists. Mm -hmm. And when I do my rendition, I never copy. I don't copy. Hmm? I But I still give credit to the person that inspired me or the photo or the, or, or the painting. And some people say, I don't even know how you related to that. But it's my interpretation. You can't tell me. Right. And I always want to give flowers to people that inspired me. Always. Right. But they also, the thing is, is like, there's a little bit of, um, I would say as a, as a creative, and this is different for every artist. Some people feel envious. Like, they, they feel, some, I remember one time, I remember I saw something a kid did, and I had a totally different idea. And I was like, bro, can I borrow that concept? He's like, I don't like people taking my stuff. And I never, I was like, respect that and I yeah, never made it absolutely and every time he came to me he's like yeah Sean did you make it I was like no you absolutely told me not to so absolutely my thing was totally different from your idea but I saw something from your thing and I didn't want you to like see your influence in what I did right 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 my, but and I, I understand respect so that. another question I have okay is what do you see happening now that you think artists should like step away from like there's always Especially here in the Bronx, like there's always something that you see a trend that is going on okay. that people are adapting that might not be good in the long run. Okay. Yeah. Um, just controversial, but for me, mm. and it's my opinion and sure. and my taste. That's what we want. Your opinion. Um, I don't stop with the stencil work. Stop, stop, stop. Doesn't take much to be a stencil artist. Um. I'm gonna disagree with you, but I'll tell you. No, why. and that's fine. That's like that, and this is why I said this is my opinion. I got you. Um, because I'm old school and yeah. I have all the fundamental, mm. um, stencil art. And for me, the Bronx has so many artists, um, homebound, still living here, mm. and even if they don't live here, they will be more than welcome to come back and do something. Can you, mm. we please keep it, for the simple fact that. I love Brooklyn. I've mm. got a lot of friends from Brooklyn. Yeah, but when they do Bushwick Collective, why are so many Europeans coming to do their walls when you have Brooklyn has so many artists? Stop. 
stop bringing outsiders to the neighborhood and you got the audacity to pay them <laughs> and we're willing to do it because we love the culture we are the culture we are the people and we are the neighborhood can you make it us about us and keep it original and we don't mind mm -hmm. guests yeah of course but they're guests do you understand that true they're okay. guests so i was actually having a conversation with uh another artist recently about this okay so what it is is that they post up on um online like this is our district i hear you and they're like hey um how many followers do you have because it's not about the artists or the talent right it's about being seen right because they want people to come to their area and, and shop and buy and whatever i hear you doing. which is I, I i feel is a bit disrespectful i mean i and and what happens to those artists they get bombed anyway so like if you go to bushwick collective there's a lot of good pieces that stay up and a lot of people that got bombed oh, yeah, yeah. hard Absolutely. and you know those are Europeans, but not only Europeans, but other guys out of town and stuff like that Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, I hear you. Um, where I mean, I think yeah. I think a variety is 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 awesome. Uh -huh. You know, because that way we can we can kind of see what other countries are doing or the states are doing. Uh -huh. But can you give the homegrown folks first? Uh -huh. Let them say no. Uh -huh. Or if you have a slot of five, can it be three? Uh -huh homegrown and two outsiders so we can collaborate i love collaborating because we can learn yeah. from each other yeah but their initiative is not our initiative as artists you they understand sh it shouldn't because they don't owe us anything right so their initiative is going to be trying to market the, the, the absolutely the, right but whose fault is that I was having a conversation with somebody else. Damn, I have a lot of these conversations. So, <laughs> I was talking to somebody about this where it's, we don't invest in, in our community. And I'm not saying this as a general statement or people don't do that. No, no, I hear But you, you, you'll you complain that things are changing, but you won't go and support that store in the corner. You won't buy from that cor that yeah, place. But you get these guys that are like, um, I don't know if they're going to be our sponsors in the future, but one of these guys who, because one of these don't burn your bridges. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, uh, one of these corporations to come and they buy a little place over here, they can throw money in there because it's nothing to them. Right. And you go and you support those guys, and then once they see that you're throwing money into them, guess what? Their sister company or some other part right. comes and buys up this part, right. and then they go and be like, "Hey, you artists of the community, right? You're part of our community now." Right. Here's money to put a mirror into our business. Right. Yo, the other day, I was in my neighborhood. I saw a wall. I wanted to paint on it. I asked the owner. The owner wants me to paint something inside. I said, give me the wall outside. I'll do this thing for free. Oh, I'm going to pay you this and pay you that. Bombed it because of ignorance. Right? Because he wanted to so much control of me. And that's the other problem, too. I think a lot of people... Um, and 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 then get back to the stencil part too. A lot of people want to control us artists, right? Because they don't have that skill, right? To create what they want. You know, many times I've had clients tell me something, and I'm telling them it won't work, and they argue me down, argue me down. I'm I like, hear you. And, and and again, you're from the fashion industry, so it's like absolutely. that's even worse. But that's where you have to, mm -hmm. like, when I do sketches. Because mm. I come from that mm. um, commission work, yeah. I do three thumbnails, mm. and they choose one, and then I incorporate their thought into what I'm doing. Because mm. he's a, the paying customer. Right. But then there's a pro the, the problem is, is that um, they don't understand. Uh, and maybe this is where I, uh, we might see differently, but I get, I got to execute what you want. But right. also... I have, like, I've had people come and bring me images that belong to other people and they wanted that Oh, copy. that's a big no-no. That's when I say, no, 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 I don't do that. And I'm like, because you want, you don't post up my artwork yeah. with somebody else's work and then I got to deal with the repercussions of that. Absolutely. So I don't want that. But they're so adamant because they paid you, right? Right. Do what I want. And, and I'm like, you don't even put money in my hand yet. Right. So let's calm that down. Right. But here's the beautiful thing. You were going to get something for free. You, you, you don't, you. they don't listen. I'm gonna do free work for you. It's gonna bring you a track. It's, look, it's gonna bring you business. Like I was watching uh, somebody break down like how, how much, like when you do an art piece in somebody's store, right? How much 
foot traffic is going to come in because of that art piece. Right. How much, you, you can't put a right. price to that stuff. Right. So we're doing something really beautiful for you. It's going to bring you more business, attract more people to your store. People don't think about that. Perfect example. Go ahead. The boogie down grind, right? Yeah. Cool. When you guys painted the train red, mm -hmm. I instantly wrote, oh, the red bird. Because I remember mm -hmm. when I was going to school, when they started painting the two and the fives um, red because everybody was doing graffiti, mm -hmm. we called it the red bird. Yeah. Immediately, Mace hit me up. Oh, shit. You want to come through? I threw four spray cans in my backpack. So what did I do? Of course, my infamous um, image, mm -hmm. if you notice, I didn't put my name on it. I put the boogie down grind and just, because this is my concept. Mm -hmm. I've been at this game for so long. If anyone remembers uh, Nike, mm -hmm. Nike used to be Nike the name. Mm -hmm. Then it was Nike with the swish. Yeah. Now it's just a swish and you don't see Nike anywhere. That's me. At this point, when you see my image, you know it's Olga. Nice. So that's why I put my image, put the boogie down grind, and after that is history, right? Right. That's why nobody could copy it at all. Don't yeah. Worry. Sean, you know that, right? <laughs> you can't copy my character. <laughs> Let's take a sip on that yeah, one. Yeah, salute. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, look. <laughs> we got some beautiful artwork here from Olga. Love it. On the train. It's looking good and beautiful. We got some Thank more you. work here, too. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate um, you for coming through. Thank you so much. But yeah, you. I'm about to finish this hold one on. too. Let, let's put up some artwork. Our producer is telling us to do this. Anyway. Thank you. No, I, I appreciate, appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you. You're doing an awesome so, job. I, I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. I appreciate it. So, this is my final question. Um, what do you see for the future of the Bros? For, mostly for the art scene right now. What, what's your hopes and dreams right now? Um, definitely there's going to be more murals. Mm -hmm. If you Google uh, the five year plan or 10 year plan for this for the Bronx, especially mm -hmm. the South Bronx, they kind of tr they trying to emulate what Bushwick is doing. So it's going to be more opportunity for artists mm -hmm. and it's going to be more grants. So you don't have to do it for free. Yeah, it's going to be more. But you have to go and you have to do your research. You have to do your research, and I'm definitely, I have a lot of connection. I always pitch it for the, you know, keep an email, please. Go, and, and it's just not about Facebook. Do your research with the rezoning, mm -hmm. with just the area in general. Mm -hmm. And when they have um, committees or they have um, town hall, show up. Show up. You can't complain if you're not in it. Show up. It's true. And, but I think the Bronx is finally going to really have amazing artists outside and inside. Yeah. But we have to do the work. We can't complain and sit home and have someone else do it. You're very right about that. I think that's the other thing, too. Like, um, I, I always hear people say, like, I didn't know or I don't know. And I'm like... What I didn't have computer when I'm growing up. This is the most fabulous thing. I don't have to leave my house, and I know everything's going on. Yeah, like stop. Yeah, but but it's it's not it's not that they're that's the easy way out. It's just that they don't do the footwork, like everything else. There's it's, it's, <laughs> it's nobody else. It's nobody else. It's just like most people just. No, I, I hear you. It's so just let's like, let's learn to be proactive, please. Mm. Let's be proactive, and so that way, um, the Bronx is gentrified and it's going to become un unaffordable for us natives yeah. and for us if we want to move out kudos to you if yeah. we want to stay then we have to do the work we yeah. just have to do the work right and that's the thing too and i'll say that for artists like always like my main thing to say to young artists is start start just start just sketch every day that's yeah. the easiest thing no yeah, one's yeah. bothering you nobody i take my lunch breaks and i actually sketch smart move like enjoy like i take mm. 30 minutes is too much for me i do at least two sketches in 30 minutes that's a pretty good time i sometimes like wake up in the morning and i do um there's something called quick poses mm -hmm. and i turn that on and i just like do like maybe um maybe like a hour session and make everything like five minutes 
and I just burn through it and I just do the line work and I got it done. And I have one more thing. I mm -hmm. just had this conversation earlier with a young lady that's mm -hmm. here. Nice. Um, we need to empower women, please. Mm -hmm. I make it a point to um, do workshop mm -hmm. with young children mm -hmm. because they so not heard. Yeah. And women. Nice. We have to support our women. Um, you know, it's funny. I'll say this. Goodness. There's a lot of programs out there for women. Uh, yeah, there are. No, I, 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 I know. But a lot of the young um, female artists don't take advantage of those. Maybe because they don't know how. That's true as well. And, and you got to understand, mm -hmm. programs are run by whom? Um, I don't know. Exactly. Th th it's th usually men-oriented, especially in this field. Yeah. And, and, and one of the things that I always advocate, because mm -hmm. I hear this, well, she doesn't know. She never did it. Okay, all of you guys started somewhere, somehow. Mm -hmm. If she makes a mistake, she'll learn from her mistakes. Why is it the opportunity is okay for you guys to make the mistake and not us? I'll speak on this. I think, like, um, one is, like, men are held a little bit more accountable on shit. Just hold on. You could say <laughs> that. You can close your face. It's just, it just is. It's like, you know, not saying, like, you know, but at the end of the day, we are held accountable for shit. Like, if, if something happens... So what about women? We're dismissed immediately. Not mm, hold accountable. No. We are completely dismissed. No, no, and we no, we don't no, get a I'm, second chance. Absolutely. No, I'm not saying Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Again, again. It's just a, we can agree to disagree. It's not an agreement to disagree. It's like, I get where you're coming from. I, I are just, you a woman? Are Have you a you man? Absolutely no, not, <laughs> and I don't claim so, so, to be. So we, we, I get it. I get we where you're agree to, to disagree. disagree. Good. Thank All you. All right, cool. But I do think like women do need to to come out more, and I mean like like you guys have amazing talent, and there's a lot of talented female artists out Absolutely. there, and they're like very like th there's two artists that I run into in the female scene. The one that is like, what's the term now? Clout chaser. Okay. Like just. Oh, I just want to be seen and not, there's no artwork. And then there's some that are fuck, like Le, La Femme. La Femme? La Femme is crazy good. Okay, she's I see that on, in men as well. well <laughs> but no, no, okay. No, no. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we're talking about the females right now? That's why I was just saying that. I know those guys that slack. I, I know, but they pay their price for slacking. Everybody does. Again, we, we agree we, to we disagree. disagree. But, <laughs> but you know, I, I really do. Like, I do. No, I appreciate I, that. But I no. want to say that to say yes. that, and I hope he doesn't mind saying this, but no Quick, Legendary Quick, yeah. he um, commissioned me, mm -hmm. and he tries to commission women and children for the simple fact that we are so underrated especially children here, here here's the thing though especially children yeah children are underrated what, why are you getting me <laughs> mad why, why are we getting on this point look, and here you, we go you, being go, dismissive again. i'm not being dismissive <laughs> i'm look, look, look. okay so both men, women and children thank are you. very that's underrated it. that's it in the art scene thank you i would but, correct yourself but the reason the reason i would say it's it's a little um I was well trying, children I was, are behind the parent i get it right right but then also they, that's like that's an uphill battle because you got to fight your parent because i've had parents where parents aren't um is it, not the word is active but very dismissive and especially in certain communities because um having a nine to five Right. Is before, before having a, career, a art career, I've seen um, parents um, dismiss the child's career, right. and yet they're going to the movie theaters, paying Pixar. You have children? I don't have kids. I'm just, I'm just saying. Just what ask, I'm, I'm again, just, I'm speaking. A, I'm speaking. I'm just saying. Okay. Again, I'm speaking as an I'm outsider. I'm just asking. You're not a woman, not, and you don't have children. I'm just asking. I am speaking as a person that has tried to do stuff in the community to help children. I hear you. Career grow. And like and I said, I, I'm very active with children okay. and I'm a mom as well. And I, I will I will bow to this I will bow to this conversation. <laughs> Ready? I'm bowing out. <laughs> I'm giving my perspective. Absolutely. But, but again, I understand where you're coming from. Absolutely. But again, it, it it's not it's when you start to see um um parents again pushing blue collar. And I get and I get that. I hear you. Blue collar. And not just saying like, okay, I have a backup plan. 
I mean, right. dis- outright dismissing their kids' talent. Right. Right. It's a cultural thing as well. Right. 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 I hear you. I'll, I'll, I agree. I'll, right. Oh, they're just straight up dismissing their children's talent. Right. Okay. And telling them a nine to five is more adamant. That's a little disheartening. That's just it. I think I think it's a cultural thing as well, and especially coming from um, the ghetto, which I hate using that terminology. Um, low income. There we go. Low income. Yes. Um, we sh- sh- tend to get our kids to strive for that because they got a better chance to to have a successful career. Mm-hmm. You know, and once again, it's the cultural and and the geographic of where you're at. Mm-hmm. But you know. I always have the 2080 and I mm. am fortunate enough mm. to, to have the 80 and mm. not have to come across so much of that. Right. I've been blessed. I've right. been I've been pushing forward and I'm going to change the narrative. No, I re- I, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. One thing is, I think I think uh, we definitely should control our media. And that's why I, I, I'm very adamant about young kids having that ability okay. to be creative like that. Because if they can make the cartoons and inspire other people, you get what I'm saying? I agree. With so you. that's why I'm very adamant I about when you. You, you, you kill that kid's talent. Absolutely. He doesn't get to help create other people. Because even if, even if he doesn't, the next kid doesn't become a comic book artist, he can inspire with a comic book, a movie, a cartoon. Yes. He can inspire the next doctor, the next this, the next right. that, that helps society out and it makes us look better as a community. And. Yeah have the ability mm-hmm. to um change your mind right and that's it I, like it's like when you watch certain basketball players right the, the, let's use that as a, a as a example right you see a lot of people um push becoming a basketball player mm-hmm. but then mm-hmm. you also have parents that are like okay son when you're done right. what are you gonna do right and you see and you see the basketball players that parents was like what are you gonna do afterwards? Because right. now, after they're done with the basketball, like, and, and and the same thing goes for you. Now that you're coming to the end of your thing, what are you going back to now? Right, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? It could have been so, totally different. Right, but it's, it's choice. Right, but that, but it's really bad when you eliminate choice. Absolutely, and that's, that's the thing that. But is, when you, yeah. so, but when you become an adult, mm-hmm. you can't keep blaming your parent. No, no, no. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not. But I want to finish the quick thing. Go, go, go. Sorry, so go quick, <laughs> amazing. Yes. He commissions children mm. and women, and he commissioned me to do a piece for his daughter for his birthday. Mm. And I was so freaking honored because he is mm. like one of my legends. Yes. And she loved it. And if you want to see it, um, he allowed me to post it on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the pieces. I have a lot of commission work that I actually the, don't. The Instagram, you, you oh, just Olga, said. <laughs> you Olga just said Korea under slash um, art. All right, we'll, we'll probably put a little like yes, little please. right here. Piece. Yeah, like right there. We'll do that. And but post. um, I I want to I want to say that to him for the simple fact that he makes a conscious decision. Mm-hmm. To uplift children and women, mm-hmm. and, and and men need to do that more often. I think we do, well, like especially. I'm, 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 hold on, I'm speak from from okay. not 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 saying in in general. I'm just saying like I think there are people that do it, and there are, are people that right, do it, right? And what's those, the percentage? I can't, I can't, I can't speak on that. Me as a woman, I can tell you, it's very little. Thank right, you. Like twenty percent, ten percent. Like I say, I do the 2080, so yeah, about 20. 20%? Okay, I understand that. Um, Let's just support our women, please. That's all. No, no, we we will. Uh, This is why we have this show. But supporting doesn't mean your input. Supporting means that you give them the platform to be creative. And this is why me and you are cool now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I will put. I will always give opportunity. It, you did. That, Thank that's, you. That's that's one thing I am adamant about. Yeah. Is the opportunity. Absolutely. Everything else is up to you. Absolutely. And, and Key. I, yeah. Oh, we agree. Yeah, we always did. I don't know why you was fighting me, <laughs> but I love I it too, though. I love to. Shop. No, it's okay. We here. We, yeah. you, you, you TT, they say. Anyway. <laughs> Correa. Yeah, yeah. Papao. Anyway. Would Thank you, like, you. Would you like to say anything to these beautiful people before you uh, we end it here? We're almost um, coming to the end. Don't 
don't stop on your dreams um like i said i i stopped painting and drawing because i was raising uh two beautiful daughters you could come back to it never say never please you're never too old you're never too young but i will say do not stop from learning like mm. don't stagnate don't say oh i don't do it that way because i don't understand it come on like uh will powers like i told him i said now i'm gonna now i gotta buy an ipad <laughs> you know and 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 the stylist so i can start drawing you know it's a beautiful thing that these young people can bring to your life in general and then you give them your old school it's a give and take mm -hmm. and when you well-rounded no one can stop you right about that right about that i agree we we can we here thank Yo, you I, I love this this is great <laughs> thank this you this is a fun episode thank I, you i, I really, appreciate you though no i appreciate you thank you and ladies and gentlemen one more time well oh, you have anything coming up or anything you want to tell people to check you out about i know you told i'll me be at fire island okay. um i have an exhibit there with my cousin okay. um i just closed up at um, one art space i have an article on up magazine and a few more things coming up that I can't recall right now. Okay. But just follow me on Instagram and I always post before I go. And one more time, Olga. Olga Korea. Olga, O-L-G-A, Korea, C-O-R-R-E-A, underscore art. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And again, this is another episode of The Chat. We appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Check it out. Have a good day. Thank you, Sean. Kuda Matata. Of course. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. We did it.